this one kind of person. It's hard to define me. I'm like a schizophrenic. There's a lot of people inside of me. I'm a musician and a poet and an athlete and a student. I'm a tall, awkward ginger, a free space, outer space thinker, but I am not a cat person. <laughs> and I'd like to apologize to all the cat people in the audience. I've heard being single for the rest of your life can be fun. Not. But cats are just freaky, and I'm not crazy. Just look at science. Cats have fangs. It also has fangs, sharks. And cats aren't as cool as sharks. And they have claws like bears, velociraptors, or sloths. And do we keep any of those as pets? Don't say yes. And what's a cat's biggest fear? Water, like the aliens off of signs. Yet we still let cats in our house in the mid-afternoon. Crap, this is the poem. I should probably start rhyming soon. Anyway, cats are evil. Just look at the word derived from Latin catus, and it may sound absurd, but that means devil. Yes, I made that up. <laughs> now on to the next level. I can think of at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different reasons why I hate cats. <laughs> They're creepy. They're everywhere. They could be out here. They could be back there. They could be right above us. Ah! See, I got you. Just like the cats are going to get you. When it's late at night, you peek outside in the darkest light and perch on your wall is a cat. Or you're driving home and you're on the road. Is that a grocery bag? No, it's a cat. And you slam on the brakes and your heart is pounding. And it wakes you up, but not the cat. No, it's still asleep like the devil it is. And that is the fear I have of cats. And to all of you who still love cats, there's the door. Now don't come back. I'm just kidding. Maybe my next poem will be slightly less offensive to you. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is I am not a cat person. 